Item number SCP-3932 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures An audio file of SCP-3932 is to be kept on secure foundation servers at Site-72, Site-01, and Site-19. Personnel with Level 3 or higher access are permitted to listen to SCP-3932 at any time, provided that no citations are within audible range. The Foundation's current containment strategy for SCP-3932 has been the establishment of diplomatic nations with the three SCP-3932 Delta nation states. The Foundation currently maintains positive relations with these groups and has negotiated several points over various treaties. The Foundation is not to intentionally contain or kill any instances of SCP-3932 Delta unless they pose an active security threat. Uncontained instances of SCP-3932 Delta are not to create new instances of SCP-3932 Delta through the usage of SCP-3932 exposure. Instances may, however, expose any naturally born offspring to SCP-3932. The three nation states of SCP-3932 Delta are to conceal themselves from the outside world until such a date when their existence can become public knowledge. The Foundation is to attempt to shift global policy to more actively prevent the deaths of cetaceans worldwide, including those that are not SCP-3932 Delta instances. The three nation states of SCP-3932 are not to attack human settlements or vessels within their claimed territory. Description SCP-3932 is a short vocalization with magnetic properties that affect mammals of the Devonidae family. Note, Oceanic Dolphins. When a Devonid hears SCP-3932, they undergo significant changes, transforming into an instance of SCP-3932 Delta. SCP-3932 has no effect upon humans or animals, not in the Delphinidae family. SCP-3932 Delta are physically and genetically identical to non-anonymous dolphins, but possess anonymous sapiens. Additionally, instances of SCP-3932 Delta possesses Class II telekinetic abilities, allowing for the physical manipulation of objects despite the lack of hands. All instances of SCP-3932 Delta are capable of vocalizing SCP-3932. After infection, SCP-3932 Delta typically exposed all other members of the pod to SCP-3932, as well as any other pods encountered. It is currently believed that the first vocalization of SCP-3932 was created by a non-anonymous dolphin, which then became an instance of SCP-3932 Delta and turned the other members of its pod into SCP-3932 Delta instances. Communication with SCP-3932 has been established by teaching instances Auslan, note, the sign language of the Australian deaf community, and giving them gloves to manipulate. Currently, the majority of SCP-3932 Delta is fluent in Auslan. Translation efforts between English and Cetacean are in progress using an English Cetacean phrase book recovered from SCP-1986. Note, currently 5% of all SCP-3932 Delta instances are able to fluently read and write in English. Currently, all instances of SCP-3932 Delta have organized into three nation-states located within the South Pacific. These nation-states are currently in a state of Cold War, which is being diplomatically handled by the Foundation. These nation-states are as follows. The Great Barrier Reef Confederacy, the youngest of the three SCP-3932 Delta nation-states, currently living in the area of the Great Barrier Reef, 
along with the eastern coast of Australia. The Confederacy was founded in 1957 following the overthrow of the former Great Barrier Reef Empire. Institutes practice rudimentary thaumaturgy. Current estimated population 25,000. The Great Barrier Reef Empire in Exile, a group that claims descendancy from the former Great Barrier Reef Empire, which was overthrown by the Confederacy in 1957. The Empire in Exile is based within the Gulf of Carpentaria and controls the northern coast of Australia. The official state religion of the Empire in Exile bears marked similarities to Sarkicism, but is not believed to have a shared origin. Current estimated population 20,000. Dolphins Common is Republic of Indonesia, the oldest of the SCP 3932 Delta nation states, founded in 1941. The Republic currently controls the waters around Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. The Republic was educated in Marxist philosophy by a group peak operative in 1940. Current estimated population 30,000. Formerly, all SCP-3932 Delta instances were under the control of the Great Barrier Reef Empire, which was founded in 1900 and quickly gained control of the entire Oceania region. In 1940, a communist uprising led to the splintering of the state into the Dolphins Communist Republic of Indonesia and the Great Barrier Reef Empire. The ruling class of the Great Barrier Reef Empire was later overthrown in 1957 and supplanted by the Great Barrier Reef Confederacy. The nephew of the former Great Barrier Reef Emperor led to his family's summer palace in the Gulf of Carpentaria and established the Great Barrier Reef Empire in exile, with the stated goal of eventually reclaiming the Great Barrier Reef. The three current nation states have been in cold state of cold war for the past 60 years, with minor conflicts over territory. Tensions have been lessened due to Foundation diplomatic intervention, leading to the current situation. Foundation involvement concerning SCP-3932 has led to the restriction of territories of all three SCP-3932 Delta nation states and a prohibition of interaction with humans. While SCP-3932 Delta instances previously have limited interaction with humans, these interactions have been mostly concealed. Under the cover story of SCP-3932 to Delta merely having been slightly more intelligent orphans. Addendum 3932-14 On February 18th, 2018, the Foundation's Diplomatic Department received the following letter from the government of the Confederacy, the Empire in Exile, and the Republic. To the Foundation, this is a declaration of war. For far too long have the dolphins of the world been oppressed by tyrannical overlords and genocidal humans. All across the world, our people are slaughtered by the likes of your kind, and we shall not stand for such treatment any longer. The days of the past in which our kind was brutally mistreated are over. When you reached out to us, in the earliest days of our people's ascendance, you promised us that things would change and that would be different. That we'd be able to live in a world in which our children would be free. But all we have faced is tyranny and oppression. You blind our people from sharing the gift that lifted us from nothing. And you force us to allow our lesser brethren to remain in their uninspired state. These indignities shall not stand. We are as great of a race as you blessed with the same intelligence and capacity for reason. Our differences lie only in the flesh and not in the mind. Our day shall come, and it shall be soon. Bacchus, President of the Great Barrier Reef Confederacy, Kovalak IV, High Emperor of the Great Barrier Reef Empire in Exile, Flipper Marx, Chairman of the Dolphins Communist Republic of Indonesia.